Here we're finding the product of two matrices. In addition to multiplying a matrix by a scalar, we can multiply two matrices. Finding the product of two matrices is only possible when the inner dimensions are the same, meaning that the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. If A is an M by R matrix and B is an R by N matrix, then the product matrix AB is an M times N matrix. For example, the product AB is possible because the number of columns in A is the same as the number of rows in B. So if the inner dimensions do not match, then a product is not defined. So in here we have 2 times 3, and that is a 3. If they are the same, then we can multiply them. If they're not, we can't. Now we multiply entries of A with entries of B according to a specific pattern as outlined below. The process of matrix multiplication becomes clearer when working a problem with real numbers. Now to obtain the entries in row I of AB, we multiply the entries in row I of A by column J in B, and then add. So for example, given matrices A and B, where the dimensions of A are 2 times 2, 2 by 3, and the dimensions of B are 3 by 3, then the product of AB will be 2 by 3 matrix. So, if we have these two matrices, we want to multiply and add as follows to obtain the first entry of the product matrix AB. So, to obtain the entry in row 1, column 1 of AB, we multiply the first row in A. So, there's the first row. And we're going to multiply it by the first column and then add. So you can see here that we have the first row times the first column. So we have A11 times B11 plus A12 times B21. plus A13 times B31. Now to obtain the entry in row 1, column 2 of AB, we multiply the first row of A by the second column in B and then add. So again we're going to have our A1, A12, A13 and now we're going to multiply it by the second column. So we have A11 times B12. We have plus A12 times B22 plus A13 times B32. And so now to obtain the entry in row 1, column 3 of AB, we're going to multiply the first row of A by the third column in B and then add. So let's go ahead and do that again. So we're taking the first row and multiplying it by the third column. So we have A11 times B13 plus A12 times B23 plus a13 times B33. And so we proceed the same way to obtain a second row of AB. So in other words, row 2 of A times column 1 of B, row 2 of A times column 2 of B, and row 2 of A times column 3 of B. And when complete, the product matrix will be the following. So what's going to happen here is that once we see the numbers, it's going to be a little bit more clear as to when we multiply. But practicing a few different times is going to allow you to be able to master this.